Hey everybody! I am in this uh, guy for the week. This is a Clever Fox Daily Planner. This was sent to me for free to review, um, but I'm going to be as honest as I can about it. And I'm really enjoying the new layout and to trying it out. Um, it's an A5 size, which is much bigger than I've been using lately. Um, it's also quite thick. They have a few different planners. They have a um, a weekly one and they have like a professional one and I forget exactly how that differs um, and then I believe they have a what is it, like a health planner um, and I think all of those probably are a little bit thinner than this one this one's quite thick because it has a page per day um, but it's only a six month planner so just know that uh, it's kind of nice to be in a bigger size for a while and I really like the um, the layout it's working I'm just gonna do like a flip through of what we've got here and I'll show you how I set it up for this week because I'm only sticking around in here for a week um, just to try it out I did a full like I filmed my setup process but I didn't do any talking if you're interested in watching half an hour of me just writing stuff on a page with like the slightest bit of background music uh, that video is up here um, but here I'm just gonna like walk you through what I did after the fact so first of all we've got this cute logo on the front there's no other markings on the outside um, I picked the color lavender so that's so let's see, a blank page and then you have a in case of it's found return reward thing I didn't fill that out because you know personal information on YouTube no. I didn't fill out this front section but I'm gonna show you what's there there's a gratitude and self-awareness page, so what I'm grateful for, what am I passionate about, what brings me joy in life. This all seemed like a lot just because I was only setting it up for the week, and I feel like it's something that I would need to sit down and think about a lot before writing out. I think if you were um, maybe used to this kind of self-reflection page, then like you would already know this stuff, in which case I'm not sure if it would be helpful or not. I feel like for me, I would prefer something that was a bit more like simple short answer questions instead of like journal prompts because I didn't feel looking at this like I had the time to sit down and do this. I bet if I did, I would find it beneficial, um, but that's not where I am right now or for this week while I'm setting up. So anyway, it's here. Um, daily rituals, skills to learn, habits to adopt, affirmations. I feel like this would be really great as like a New Year's Pro, you know process to go through and like decide your resolutions and goals you know there's room for a vision board so it's like let's look at goals it's very goal oriented which I do like though I like my goals to be very narrow focus and at least for this week that's what it is but here we go three top three goals for the year in eight different life areas health business and career family and friends significant other and romance finance personal development fun and recreation and spiritual so here we go then you get to set five specific goals that are your focus for these six months i guess so you just write each one out i wasn't going to take up a whole block just for comic-con prep because that seems a little trivial I, like, I want to keep this looking okay for maybe I'll come back and do the front section later. Um, then you can make a mind map for, you know, ideas to reach those goals. And then you jump straight into monthlies. So you'll see I did not do a lot of decoration. And I, it's like because I'm not sure how to. I feel like when you're moving into a new, a new layout that you're not really um, familiar with that it's hard to tell how you want to decorate things right away. So I threw a little bit of washi tape for the week that we're going to be at Comic-Con and just a little bit across the top to kind of bring out the patriotic look. But I wasn't sure like if I was going to need all this space or not, what I wanted to cover with stickers. You know, I could probably put some more something here and here for the days I'm not using. But anyway, so we've got, again, a goal focus, monthly goals. Um, this is like a reflection thing. So months wins and improve for next month, which you fill out at the end of the month. So I'll do that later. Um, then habits to adopt, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, and people to see. The only ones of these, let's see, this one and this one are like habits, uh, things I want to actually do. These two are happening regardless. And then um, this one I couldn't think of anything. So anyway, I filled out the whole month. This is really the place where you would put events, as far as I can tell, because um, the weekly view, as you'll see in a second, it's not really oriented towards things to do and places to be. It's more oriented towards like goals and tasks. 
So this is the weekly spread. It's half a page here, and then you have a day per page all the way through the end of the week, which you'll see. So you have the main goal for the week. This is cool. Main goal and a reward. I figured for doing Comic-Con prep, the reward is getting to see the stuff you want to do at Comic-Con. So I just wrote the word yeah in the worst hand lettering ever. Um, then there's section for priorities, work to do, personal to do, and habits, and then a life balance to do list. So these are the same sections from the front um, of like your focus, your top three goals for each section of your life. Um, I kind of just wrote a couple of things. I couldn't think of a lot of stuff that was concrete and I feel like, I don't know, maybe if you're the kind of person who makes more nebulous goals, then this would be a great place to write the words that remind you of those goals. I'm thinking of specific goals. I'm like, I would like to have a date night tonight, or this week, um, so that's a goal, you know. I need to do my stretches for my PT stretches because I have not been and have an appointment tomorrow. Um, so that's like specific stuff. Anyway, um, I don't use my personal planner for like my office job work. Um, so for my work to-do list, I put stuff like to-dos towards my main goal. And then for personal to-dos, this list is other things that I need to do in my life. Whereas the priorities are other things that I need to focus on that are not the main goal. You can use this however you like. That's how I did it. Um, and then I have a couple of habits on here slash... I don't know. Oh, by the way, there's a pen loop, which fits my micron very nicely. I can... Cross that off. Um... So I'm, I'm sort of getting back into the bra tracker because I'm not nursing the baby as much and I'm not pumping and so I've actually not been wearing nursing bras during the week when I'm working. Um, so I'm just trying to keep track of when they get dirty again. So that's your weekly spread, just like one page of goals and things. And then where you actually have to go and be and do would go in your daily schedule um, as well as obviously the monthly. So. I have done this on other daily spreads where I have times as I, you know, mark off when I'm at work and then kind of write some stuff in. Like this block of little tasks is anytime I'm in the morning and think, ah, I need to do that at lunch because I go home for lunch. Ah, I need to grab this thing. I need, you know, forgot that. I have to get lunch or dinner started in the crock pot. That goes in this sort of space that's for my uh, lunch break. I had like a task that needed to get done in the morning, so I did that, and I always write pick up Agnes just because it takes like half an hour, so I just kind of block that off there. Um, I can sort of check off a couple of these things. Um, and then, so we have today's priorities, which I'm not really using for priorities. I have a main goal here, which I picked that's something to relate it to this. And then instead of priorities, I'm using this section for my video for the day, the laundry load I'm going to do that day, and what's for dinner. So I put little icons for that. If you can tell, that's supposed to be a laundry basket. I don't know. Anyway, I clean the baby's clothes. I'm filming this video. I had the crock pot mac and cheese, and it was, eh, I wouldn't recommend it. It wasn't great. And then this is the other thing that's cool about this planner that I really like is all of the spaces for like reflection. So it's the end of the day now and I'm going to go and create my productivity like a, I don't know, like a six. Because I was like not myself today. I felt like I was elsewhere. I'm going to try tomorrow. I think I'm going to try my white noise app and see if that helps me. Because sometimes I feel like that helps me focus. I use um, an app called Tide, and it's you know, one of those productivity apps. You can set like a timer, and it'll play ocean noises for like 20 minutes and then give you a 10 minute break or whatever. You can use the Pomodoro technique with that um, and stuff like that. Uh, and I find sometimes just having my headphones in at work just helps me to like focus more instead of getting distracted by emails coming in or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to do tomorrow and feel hopefully like it centers me in place a bit more. As you see, I didn't really decorate much. I highlighted the white lettering to see if it would stand out. I don't know. It's okay. I might do the same tomorrow, but I haven't 
marked it up. I've just marked in like a couple of to-dos and I'll, I'll fill this out more as I go through tomorrow. So it's a page per day all the way through the week. And then there's one dot grid page for notes, which I've started using some note space for my like gear packing list for all the vlog stuff that I want to bring. Um, and then at the top here, this is how much of my high speed data I've used because I'm trying to not use too much of it before um, Comic Con so that I have like a bunch so that I can, you know, watch YouTube while I'm in line or whatever. I'm saving like a gig per day so that I can just go wild while I'm there. Because um, I don't really need it when I'm here. I can listen to a podcast instead of a YouTube video, you know, and not stream something from the car. Then, again, more review stuff, which is cool. So you get to check off if you've achieved your main goal for the week. And then you can check off that you received your reward. You get to list three wins for the week. There were three wins for the month before. These are three for the week. What wasn't completed and why? What didn't I do this week and why? What have I learned? How do I feel about my progress? And how will I improve next week? I really like this and I haven't used it yet, obviously. I will let you know if it seems completely ridiculous by the time I get there, but I am excited by this review thing, uh, page. I think that this will be really useful. And then you turn the page and you're on your next week. So there's, like I said, six months worth of weeks in here. And then you get to the end. This is the last week. And then we've got um, some more dot grid. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five and a half spreads, All right? So that's 11 pages of dot grid pages um, in here for additional notes and collections and things. So depending on how much you use, I guess, and how much of your life you're able to fit into the weekly spreads, um, then that, that'll determine whether that's enough for you or not. Um, I would assume that you would put like project pages back here. Um, anything that doesn't fit on your weekly notes section, um, which is a whole page, which some weeks that might be more than you need and you can, you know, use it for future weeks. Some weeks it may not be enough. I mentioned in a video recently, um, oh, it was when I was using the, um, I started using the My Summer Touch Day Per Page uh, inserts, which I'm definitely going to come back to once I go back to my rings. Uh, but I had like an extra page of notes in the back of my week, and I thought that was really useful. So this is the same idea. Um, just for, you know, little little notes and things instead of having um, to like make a new project page or something. Anyway, it comes with three bookmarks, which is cool. They're brightly colored, which I don't know, that's up to you whether you like that or not. And then it comes with, is it three, two, two sheets? Three sheets of these stickers. It's not a lot, they're all round icon stickers. Um, and they're one color per thing. So you've got like a, I guess a growth chart type thing, a family and or work life thing. Yeah, I guess it's a, a party icon a gift icon, an exercise icon, a dinner icon, uh, financial, something about probably love, relationships, reading, and mindfulness, yoga, that kind of thing. If I were to design this myself, I would probably do the color stripes this way um, because I like to color coordinate my spreads if I'm going to do decoration, which I haven't yet figured out the best way to decorate these spreads. But if I were to decorate them, I would be more likely to go, oh look, I'm going to use all of these purple icons this week. Um, I'm still going to see if I can figure out a way to incorporate these into what I'm doing in here this week. Um, but I haven't really taken a look at them yet. So I will continue to show you how this is all working for me throughout this week as I do my daily videos. And uh, I hope that that was interesting for you. I will go ahead and link um, Clever Fox down below. Thank you to them for sending me this to review. Um, and if you have any other questions, leave those in comments. And then once you're down there, subscribe so that you don't miss my videos as I will be posting uh, more of these every day throughout July. See you then. Bye.